G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. I hope you're ready for another Milk Punch Monday! This is when I did that, just in case I forget to put the actual guitar riff in the editing process. Uh, but hopefully I got that in there. And for this week, I'm actually doing a Milk Punch, as opposed to clarifying a recognized cocktail. Because the whole milk clarification thing comes from a very old process known as milk punches that have been around for at least since the early 1700s, even the 1600s. The earliest written recipes we have for milk punches come from the early 1700s, which means if people were writing it down then, they were probably doing it for a while before. And so this one I found on a site called Punch Drink, and it's called the Sex Panther. Yes, which I, I assume is a reference to the movie Anchorman with 60% of the time, it works every time. Which obviously doesn't make sense, as Roy Burgundy, Ron Burgundy said. So, but I, and, and yes, I fully admit it was the name Sex Panther that caught my attention when I was searching for milk punch recipes. But one other thing that caught me on this, this recipe said to use a cola syrup. They said, hey, uh, use, uh, uh, they said Mexican Coca-Cola. So what they meant is a cola that had sugar rather than corn syrup in it. And to actually reduce it down in a saucepan. But what I have that I've always wanted to use uh, recently, you know the old soda streams thing, you make your own things at home. They've started doing some Pepsi products in the supermarkets here in Australia. And I'm a bit of a Pepsi Max fan. So make my own Pepsi Max. I thought, surely I can use this as a syrup. I did have a really weird thing on an online forum when I said, has anyone used a, a syrup like this uh, as a sweetener in cocktails? And some dipshit was like, you can't use that. The syrup doesn't have sugar in it. I went, dude, it's still sweet. There are things apart from sugar that are sweet. <laughs> it doesn't have sugar. And someone else chimed in like, what are you saying, man? Of course it's sweet. What are you talking about? It's like, kind of like when you get those things, sometimes you get people on online forums when they say one stupid thing and everyone goes, you're an idiot. They double down and act even more stupid. But of course, even though there's not sugar in that, it's obviously sweet. Um, and so I've improvised somewhat uh, with the recipe, not least because the recipe, and I will put, I'll put a link uh, in the description here to uh, the recipe, which is to make a very large batch, and I mean several liters of punch. Uh, but I'm going to give you some specs. I've transposed them into what I think is a good set of specs to make a single drink. So you can adapt based on how much you want to make. Uh, but uh, we're gonna do it now. We're gonna do Sex Panther. First up, we are going to do a dark rum, and for a single drink, you would do one ounce of the dark rum. And I'm just going to town. This is uh, pot still rum, uh, it's 75% alcohol, so it's real sort of kick in the head flavors, but the milk clarification process tends to soften flavors, so that's why I thought, let's go with some big, bold flavors. So the first thing is one ounce of a dark rum, overproof if you're feeling dairy. The next thing in the punch drink recipe is they would be one and a half ounces of, they said, an unaged rum. And I thought, what classifies as that in my collection? So I'm going with this rum agricole from Martinique. Again, it's also overproof. It's 55% as opposed to 75%. So this is going to be a fairly dangerous drink. You don't have to go this far, but they've suggested an unaged rum. And if you're making a single drink, it would be one and a half ounces of unaged rum. For the cola part, the recipe that I'm referencing said to do one quart of Mexican Coca-Cola and reduce it down on a stove. This is already reduced. And so this is me going finger in the wind, making a judgment call. So for my particular recipe for a single drink, uh, if you're using uh, the syrup, I would say two ounces of the syrup. If you're using a uh, straight cola and reducing it down, I'd say you want four ounces of cola and reduce that by half. I'm going to editorialize here. There are a couple things in the punch drink recipe that I think are stupid as hell. And I'm just gonna say it. 
So with all the rums and the colas and whatnot, they're essentially talking about making about two litres of punch. And they've gone, someone's had a brainwave and said, oh, in this two litres of punch, you should have a tablespoon of tea. And tea is actually a very traditional element on, of milk punches. But it's like, as if you are going to be able to taste a teaspoon of tea in two litres of punch. That's just stupid as hell. I don't know if that's a typo or someone just being a colossal wanker to suggest that a, tea, a tablespoon of tea would make a difference to two litres of punch. That's just stupid as hell. So, what I've done, I've made a, a very strong tea here, just a black tea, and I'm going to add two ounces of black tea to my drink. The other thing I disagree with in their recipe is they suggested way too much sugar. I don't know who they're making it for, but they were suggesting to put way too much sugar in there. It just seems absolutely outlandish to me. And there was like, so they were just putting cups of sugar in and cups of lemon juice in, and I would reduce those down to ounces for mine. So I've decided to do a half one. This is an oleosaccharum syrup. So I've talked about this before. You make this by adding sugar to citrus peel and the sugar leaches the oils out of the citrus peel and then I dilute it with water as well. So I'm cutting the difference with the ridiculous amounts of sugar they suggested and lemon juice and I'm adding one ounce, 30 mils of oleosaccharin. The final touch is some pineapple juice, uh, <laughs> freshly opened because I don't have the wherewithal to make fresh pressed uh, pineapple juice. If you can, go for it. But this is like no additives, 100% pineapple juice, it's all good. I am going to add one ounce, 30 mils of pineapple juice. This concoction, unsurprisingly, because it's got cola syrup and black tea in it, is black. It is absolutely black. So what we do when we've got all this together is we add it to milk. And with those amounts that I was saying for a single drink, I'd add it to two ounces of milk. What you want is four parts drink to one part milk. That's the ratio you should have. And you add the drink to the milk, not the other way around. That does make a difference. But when you've got something that's pure black and you add it to milk and it curdles, you definitely get something that looks like toxic sludge. And you have to have a bit of faith it's going to come out in the end somehow more aesthetically pleasing. So when you let it curdle, it starts to curdle straight away. You can leave it for a few minutes to half an hour. Don't listen to instructions that say to leave it for 12 or 24 hours. It's not necessary. Just leave it till it's clearly curdled and then you're going to pour it through a coffee filter or cheesecloth or a nut milk bag, something similar. But the big thing is it's the curds that do the filtering, not uh, the coffee filter. So initially the curds won't have settled. So the first stuff that goes through will be a bit cloudy. So you'll want to let it run for a minute or two and then pour that back through and then just be really patient because it might take quite a while, but eventually the entire thing will filter through and you'll get the end result. The end result, I think we can agree, is very different to both the black base drink we had and the rather terrifying toxic sludge it turned into when we added it to milk. It's a, it's a beautiful amber. I put it with some of my magic clear ice to really show off the clarity of it. Uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. It literally went from black to this. Uh, I never stopped being amazed by the clarification process. But the big tip is what does it taste like? Now, the punch ring site actually did recommend this. It's more or less a base. They suggested adding soda to it to make it like a, an upmarket Cuba Libre. Uh, I'm going to taste it as is and see what it's like. And Okay, that is probably too sweet. <laughs> and I cut way back on the sugar levels that they were suggesting. I mean, it's nice. It, it is really nice. Considering this is full of overproof rums, it doesn't taste like alcohol, which is super dangerous. Uh, it does have a bit of that cola flavor. Even with that really dark black tea I put in. Um, not that strong tea. It is mostly ta tasting like the juices. It, it honestly, it tastes really good. I think I probably do need to dilute it with soda. 
You could use plain soda water. I'm gonna use this rather special local soda water I have from Cappy. It's a lemon and basil, unsweetened. Uh, just has very light flavors. So I'm adding, you know, that's about 45 mils of soda to this. But you can make it a tall one if you wanted. Just fill your glass. It's just for me. I can use my own finger. I normally use Gaz Regan's finger. This is just for me, I can use my finger. Uh, let me go. Okay, yeah, that's honestly an improvement. So, if you follow this uh, recipe, either you need to like incredibly sweet drinks, uh, or make it 50, at least 50-50 with soda. Uh, it's honestly, it's really good. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, this is... This is, I often say this about clarified drinks because it softens the flavor. It's quite dangerous, but because this has two different overproof rums in it and it does not taste even mildly alcoholic, this is the sort of drink that could absolutely get you in trouble. So drink responsibly, kids, okay? I'm not being held responsible uh, for you doing something irresponsible. Me personally, I'm going to do something irresponsible and finish that. But I'm home and it's safe and I'm not operating heavy machinery, so it's all going to be okay. But uh, yeah, I, I, I recommend my recipe for the Sex Panther. I think there are a, a couple of severe faults in the punch drink recipe. You can make your own decisions. I've given you two uh, perspectives to look at. Um, but yeah, I think definitely 60% of the time, this would work every time. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy that. I hope you enjoy whatever you're doing. Uh, hey look, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you did. Click the bell so you get notifications. Do the thumbs up. Uh, let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see for a milk punch Monday or any other day of the week for that matter. Uh, I'm gonna finish this off. In the meantime, I hope you look after yourself. Look after people around you, and until I see you again, cheers.